Okay. So in my last video, I was not able to um, show you how to edit the HTML and CSS. It's kind of hidden down here. Let me just like pull that up here if it'll show up. My silly little thing is in the way. Okay. So when you are in your website editor and you go to theme, you can click on the button that says edit HTML, CSS. This is where you can really customize things. However, if you have no experience coding before, um, if you have really no idea what you're doing, you just want to be extra careful because even just like one little thing off can really throw things off. Um, so here you can see like there's the CSS, the basic like HTML that we're looking for. Um, all of that is in here. So things like, you know, what color is your link? What color is your typeface? What is the typeface? What size? How wide is this? You know, is it limited or unlimited? Um, radio inputs and checkboxes and all that. Like there's a whole lot here and you can really, we can go down the rabbit hole and have a ton of fun. I love working with CSS. I, I, that's a language I know very, very well, just messing around and making layouts and things like that. Um, so feel free to play with it. You know, you can play around with borders and all sorts of things. Just be careful um, when you're messing around with stuff if you aren't used to that. Um, so just be careful about what you're playing around with. So one example of editing the code here, I have like, it's just a Seno head, header nav wrap. Um, it's my navigation background, like just as an example. So instead of white, I don't know, maybe I want to change it to black, which is six zeros. So hex codes, don't forget that. You can't just like type in dark red. It's not going to give you an accurate color. Um, so that's what it looks like. Just turned it to black. So anytime you make updates, it's going to kind of auto update it here. It won't actually publish the changes until you click save. So if you don't like that, or maybe you want to find a different hex code, like maybe I want this darker gray, I can go ahead and just copy that, or maybe you find it on Google Classroom, or not Google Classroom, um, on Photoshop. I don't know what I just pressed. There we go. Um, there it changed it to this dark gray. So feel free to play around with it, but just be very, very careful. Like I said, even if something is just slightly off, you miss a letter or a number, it can really mess around with things. Um, same with like spacing and stuff. So just be really careful and take it piece by piece. It's a good idea if you like something to just go ahead and click save. And then that way you can keep moving on. And then if you make a mistake, you can just click cancel and not lose all of your progress. Um, also pay attention to the headers here. If you need help and you're like, well, how do I change, you know, the background of this one? You can always Google it, like type it in and say how to change Weebly background color, you know, on the header or whatever. Otherwise you can really pay attention to just these like titles here. Again, this is coding. Um, we're in these styles, so we're working with the CSS. Um, it's not always going to be straightforward, and that's okay. So if you have never done any of this before, you know, take a look at it maybe, but you don't have to mess around with this too much. This is just if you really, really want to go crazy and you know, really make it your own and personalize it. Um, this is how all web design is created. You know, if I started from scratch, which I have done in the past, um, this is essentially what we're looking at. You know, we're looking at CSS, we're looking at the HTML, um, the different types of HTML for each, whatever page you're looking for. Here, you can even like customize the blog and that kind of stuff, but we're not really using any of those, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, there's also a custom JavaScript and stuff in there too. I'm not messing with that. JavaScript's kind of like beyond me and what I have the patience for. <laughs> so um, feel free to play around with that and kind of pretend you're a uh, web designer for the next week or so and um, hopefully have some fun with it learn a little bit um, just don't forget to click save when you want to save your uh, uh, code or whatever you input all right enjoy <laughs>